Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new unboxing episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Now, this is technically not an original unboxing video because I unboxed this yesterday just to make sure everything played right, and sadly it did not. I already have a replacement on the, on the way, but this is a release I've been trying to get my hands on for a long time, so we're going to go over it anyway. The second LP plays fine, but the A and B side, they dance, they legit dance like this. It's fuck, it sucks. I'm like legit like bummed out, but I hit up Svart yesterday, sent them video footage, and then sent them footage of the uh, turntable working. I just used the uh, Full of Hell record that Curtis uh, donated to show them that, look, it's not my turntable. Like, I know this was two months, like, stuck in uh, limbo and whatnot, so it had to have gotten warped just from the heat. But the C and D side are absolutely perfect. And what I'm talking about, I have to thank Patreon for because it wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to have afforded this without Patreon. Because, and also, I took this out of its pre-shrink wrapping, I think is what it's called. Uh, most Svart releases come, like, pre-packaged. Which, to me, that's not a good way to ship your LPs. Like, and I'm talking about Abhorrence completely vulgar. This was like $60. And... You know, it's fucking worth it, because to me, this is one of my favorite Finnish death metal bands. And completely vulgar, the ultimate collection of all original Abhorrence material. The original 7-inch EP, which is, like, the fucking best ever. The demo, plus all the existing rehearsal and demo tracks. The rehearsal stuff is awesome but uh the quality is exactly what you would expect from a 1990 room recording and it's sick like i like it like like that but the seven inch ep and the uh vulgar demo they're they're just so fucking good and the fact that that's the lp that's fucked is just a bummer but i'll go over the booklet too because this is awesome Kind of like the Demi Lich uh, compilation. I like this too. This turned out like the cosmetics are fucking really sick, and I got the purple LP. I hope they still have. Like I, I don't really care, but I have a weird thing with Svart reissues from uh, Finland. I I try to get the colored the colored LPs no matter what. And of course, the LP stuck. I got it. There we go. Cool. But uh, yeah, sadly, this is already getting replaced by Svart because the A and B side are proper fucked. And I like how they actually used like the Abhorrence logo here. Normally, Svart will just have the Svart logo and then in like a nice readable font what release it is. But here you got the uh, Abhorrence, completely vulgar, like written on graphing paper or graph paper. I forget what it's actually called. But sadly, the C and I meant the A and B side are fucked. So they said they were shipping a DHL, so hopefully it gets here soon. Because I ordered this, I think it was in April, and uh, it was late, but C and D side, same thing, And but like you could feel how much heavier this is for some reason. I don't know why, like this is just like a heavier LP, I think because it has more tracks than the A side, the A and B side, which is it's kind of confusing, but... It's just a killer fucking compilation. If you love Finnish death metal, this is E-fucking-sential. 
Because, yeah, the C and D sides have, uh, you know, that makes up the majority of the 21 tracks. Because side A and B have 8 tracks total, while side C and D have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 tracks on the C and D side. And again, this is just fucking sick, but the sickest part of this reissue is about to be shown. I really like how they, you know, tried to make it like super ancient looking, like by using like a beat up looking cardboard, like cover and stuff. We have an ad in the background, I'm sorry, but like, I really dig that. I think it looks fucking super badass. But fuck this commercial shit. Sorry. Oh fuck. Ready to get caught in a vortex? <laughs> oh, we gotta turn this bad boy up. You like spectral voice? This book is so fucking sick, like, it's just awesome. I was reading it yesterday. Like, 21 tracks total, but like, getting like, the lyrics and shit to all the songs, it's just awesome. I fucking love it, man. Through the gate of the dark dimension, to the mass of swirling matter, to the depths of an endless cold, I'm thrown by the wickedest of magics. I fucking love this demo. Well, the seven inch, but also the demo. And I, I, I guess this, I, I know it's considered an EP, but I always call it a demo. Got some early photos. There's a lot of stuff in here with uh, Juka. On an astronomical road of putrid cadavers. Abhorrence. Dude, look at this show lineup. Fucking Dark Throne, Abhorrence, and Cadaver. Look at that shit. And like over here, like there's so many sick fucking shows. Like that's what I love about these like booklets that come with the Spark reissues. I don't know, off the top of my head, I honestly don't remember if the Convulse World Without God set has a booklet. I have to go check. But uh, more like flyers and just, you know, Abhorrence became Amorphous and Abhorrence, they put their, their last mini LP was amazing. Like, it really was. I thought it was fucking great. And this is again, this shit just rules. Like, classic fucking death metal. Like, it's one of my favorite fucking Finnish death metal riffs, period. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Hell's, Head Hell's Headbangers is probably going to get some copies of this. Grab that shit, man. If you're a fan of Finnish death metal, like, this is E-fucking-central in every way, shape, and form, like, seriously. It doesn't get much fucking heavier, gloomier, and just, you know, if you're a fan of gloomy, doomy, Finnish death metal, and you never heard of Abhorrence, you're fucking up, and the completely vulgar compilation, it's got you covered. Like, this is 
some of the best finished death metal recorded. Like as much as I love Demi, like this is up there with Demi Lich, Convulse, etc. Because you know I love finished death metal from the 90s. But I still love bands like, you know, Crips and stuff. And right now I feel like their death grind scene is just amazing. From Cadaveric Incubator to Galvanizer, like just killing it. But uh, it's awesome having, you know, every Abhorrent song in my possession because I have the live album also, I have the newest mini LP, and now I have fucking the complete compilation. But I did have to switch uh, vinyl sleeves, obviously. Because it's a gatefold and it comes all sealed up and stuff, so I had to peel the sticker back and stuff. But, yes, yeah, it just had to have been the heat. That's the only thing I can think of. But, like, smart, they kill it. Like, look at, like, the packaging just it looks super nice and fancy. And it's just, you know, very awesome trustworthy mail order from Finland and a great record label when it comes to all the Finnish classics but this is my first bad experience and the label already got my back on it so I don't really you know I can live a couple more weeks without side A and B because I can listen to side C and D so I can still get you know the live uh, tunes and the rehearsal tape and the rehearsal demo also. I think they're both on here. Yeah, they are. Cool. And yeah, it even ends with a rehearsal of Caught in the Vortex. But I did not get to enjoy the entire A and B side, like I said, but still. Svart is not sold out of this. I would grab it's it is expensive, but it's fucking worth it, seriously. But I know Hell's Headbangers get smart releases, so I would email J Dog and ask, like, hey, are you getting copies of Completely Vulgar by Abhorrence? And just keep your eyes on Hell's Headbangers so maybe you don't have to pay more than twenty-two dollars or something. Because Hells always has good prices on Svart releases. That's normally, like, aside from, like, the Demi Lich and Convulse stuff, like, that's where I would order um, Svart releases from. Like, uh, they always have skepticism stuff, because I don't know what the deal is. Nobody ever buys... Well, I think it's because they don't have Storm Crow Fleet. They have... Um, the latest skepticism. I think it's a live album, actually. Not sure off the top of my head. It has like a flower on the cover. But uh, nobody ever buys it. And like every time I look at it, I'm like, I, 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 I need that. And it's the same with like Ripa Kalu. Like I need to get, like that's E fucking Central. I know Extremely Rotten has copies right now, but you know, hopefully next time I have some money, um, Hell's has a copy of it because I don't have one. I would love the demo on cassette. I wish this was on like a tape box set, but I can't wait to hear, you know, the seven inch on vinyl. And I know some of you have the original seven inch on wax and that's sick. And uh, if you saw Abhorrence spec, you know, at their reunion in 2013, or if you saw them during their prime right here, that's awesome. And, you know, cool shit. I feel like sometimes, though, some of you folks are like, you know, oh, I have the original demo. Like, yeah, that's cool and all, but like, you're not hurting my feelings. <laughs> all right? Like, I'm not gonna be like, you know, oh man, like, fuck my life. I'm happy with the reissue. Like, I'm sorry. It has the same tunes on it. 
I know some people are like, ah, oh, fuck that reissue shit. I want the original. And, you know, it is what it is. But, like, not everybody can afford, like, a $90 7-inch. So, I get it. But, if you're looking for some murky, Finnish death metal... Look no further than the Abhorrence Completely Vulgar Compilation through Smart. Otherwise, your wallet is going to be empty, probably just off the 7 inch. So having all this in one place instead of going and getting bootlegs or... Because I, I don't know where the fuck you're going to get a cheap original copy of the 7 inch. Like, you're not. And same with, like, the demos. Like, that shit's very expensive. But I'm sure there's some bootlegs out there. But I would just get this. I don't know if it has a CD release. But, like, if it does, yeah. it's worth. This is worth getting on any format. Even digitally, if that's all you have. Like, But, like, getting to hold, like, this just makes me fucking happy and having the booklet to read it's sick and like, like look at the co like, I love these like cosmetics like with the torn it just looks fucking badass but I'm a big abhorrence fan like a lot of you know death doom fans out there and I just think they're one of those bands that just have that sound and just do it so good like this is all like 1990 and shit, like, it's ridiculous, like, how, they never even did a full length, like, they just straight up, as soon as they made Amorphous, they just started making moves, and, you know, I like Amorphous up until after this, well, yeah, their first two albums are fucking badass, but then it just goes, meow. But Abhorrence, just all the stuff from like 90, it, you need to hear this shit. It's E-fucking-central. But thank you to everybody on Patreon for making this release possible for the channel. And the replacement is getting sent already by Svart, but I still wanted to go over it with you folks to let you know. Grab a copy of this fucking release. It's bad ass if you have some extra money. Definitely worth your time. Especially if you're a fan of like... Cathelist, Spectral Voice, etc. Like, you'll love Abhorrence. A Cursed Womb. Like, if you like my band, you'll probably like Abhorrence. Cavern. I, I can go on and on. Pretty much any band with death doom elements has a little bit of abhorrence in there and that's just the way it is like and it's awesome though but if you're a fan of finnish death metal this is like yeah it's up there with the demi lich demos like and convulse uh resuscitation of evilness you know and uh ah oh, fuck I, I know Children of the Scorn, but um, I forget the demo's names, but uh, Cranial Torment? But yeah, it, it's up there with, you know, some of the sickest Finnish death metal demos and stuff. That's what I mean, like, it's a 7-inch for the original EP, but like, is it a demo? Or is it like, I mean, they call it an EP, so we're just going to call it an EP. So just trust me. Killer fucking shit here. Gloomy death metal from Finland, early 90s. Very obscure. The production is what it is. It, it, you know, it does sound hell is way, way better than like the cream the crematory demos and stuff. Like this crushes that shit. Cause Svart is like a real record label, and cause I was told that the Crematory demos were too heavy for vinyl. Like, what the fuck? I, I don't know. But anyways, thanks everybody for making this video possible. And as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Sorry I had to do this down here.
having one of those days where I'm super sore, so I apologize. But thanks for watching as always. Hails.